Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Bull Terrier. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Bull Terrier Overview The Bull Terrier breed was born in England in the 1800s made for perfect pit fighting dog. Around 1835, a cross between the Old White English Terrier and the Bulldog produced the Bull Terrier. Around 1900, color was reintroduced into the breed by crossing them with Staffordshire Bull Terriers. They earned the nickname, White Cavalier, thanks to their courageousness, courtliness towards people. Englishman James Hinks is credited with the development of the Bull Terrier. He set out to create an all-white dog that would become a desirable gentleman's companion in the 1860s. They were considered gladiators in the dog fighting ring, prized for their strength and tenacity. The first Bull Terrier was registered by the American Kennel Club, AKC, was Nelly II in 1885. First, let's have a look at the pros. Excellent guard dog. These dogs that are always alert and aware of their environment. They are generally great companion for almost anyone, from a single person to a family with, not too young, kids. Easy grooming routine. This dog has a coat of flat, short hair that requires weekly brushing. Patience and non-aggression are two of the main traits of the Bull Terrier character. They are intelligent and pick up lessons quickly with a positive approach, although that doesn't mean they are very easy to train. Bull Terriers are a bit unique among other dogs in that they actually don't have that doggy smell. Extremely loyal to the owner and will never betray him. It's now time to look at the cons. This breed is not a good choice for a family with small kids. These dogs are independent and don't usually get along with other dogs or cats in the house. Compared to other breeds, Bull Terriers really are not the easiest dogs in terms of owner leadership. You could also call them stubborn, motivated, or willful. They are very strong dogs, need lots of exercise to maintain their muscle tone, health, and mental health. If you live in a condo or apartment dwellers, a Bull Terrier might not be perfect for you. Winters can be tough. They have short sleek fur that really doesn't keep them warm in cold weather. Although they are generally healthy breed, they do tend to be allergic to lots of food, especially white Bull Terriers. They are challenging to train as they are strong-willed, so they aren't recommended for timid or first-time owners. Interesting facts. Just like German Shepherd, Bullies likes to chase its own tail, symptom of an obsessive-compulsive disorder. Patsy Ann, a bully from Juneau, Alaska famous for unfailingly predicting the impending arrival of ships to port in 1930s. Today, Patsy Ann's spirit lives on in a bronze statue that was commissioned and placed on the Juneau Wharf in 1992. General George S. Patton owned a bull terrier named Willie, and a portrayal of him is featured in the 1970 movie Patton. In Charles Dickens' Oliver Twist, 1838, Bill Sykes' dog, Bullseye, is a bull terrier. From 1987 to 1989, Budweiser's beer commercials featured a female bully named Spuds McKenzie. Bullseye is a bully and the official mascot of Target Corporation, which is the second largest department store retailer in the US appearance. Bullies are known for their long egg shaped faces that slope in the front into a Roman nose. They have rectangular and dark colored eyes with erected and little ears. Bullies can be pure white or multicolored, red, brown, and black with white markings or brindle. On average, the Bull Terrier measures between 21 and 22 inches tall when measured at the shoulder. For male bullies, the healthy weight range is between 55 and 65 pounds whereas female is 45 to 55 pounds. Bullies can live for anywhere between 10 and 14 years and average lifespan is 12 years. On the average, the Bull Terriers give birth to 1 to 5 puppies. Grooming. Bully is a pretty low maintenance breed when it comes to grooming. Their coat should be brushed only once every week with a curry brush to avoid any matting issues. Brush your bully's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove tartar buildup. 
trim his nails once or twice a month, or as needed. Check the ears weekly to make sure there's no debris, redness, or inflammation. Shedding. Bull terriers, as a rule, don't tend to shed very much. The amount of shedding can also depend on the food you provide for your bull terrier. However, when bull terriers do shed, their hairs can be annoying to remove from clothes and furniture. Cost. On average a bully puppy will cost $1,500 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $815 and $2,000. The average price of a bull terrier puppy in India is around 35,000 to 45,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. The bull terrier needs 30 to 60 minutes of exercise, play, and mental stimulation daily. Your bully will need daily exercise, which could be walking, hiking with you or running in the dog park. They are highly sensitive in nature and using harsh training methods can hurt their feelings. This breed must never be let off its leash in public areas as this has the tendency to chase around small animals. They also have the tendency to gain weight pretty fast so you must avoid overfeeding it. Bully puppies can begin learning basic commands and behaviors as early as 10 to 12 weeks old. A bully can get a solid understanding of basic commands by the age of 6 months. Verbal commands such as sit, stay, lay down, and off can be pretty well mastered within the one year of consistent training. Patience consistency, and positive reinforcement will dramatically increase the likelihood of success in training a bully. Training can be a hard challenge if you are not a strong, calm and patient pack leader. Intelligence. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Coren, Bull Terrier is ranked 66. Understanding of new commands 40 to 80 repetitions and obeys first command 30% of the time or better. Swimming. Bull Terriers can swim but are not known to be one of the best swimming dogs. The bulky frame and short legs of the Bull Terrier make swimming challenging. A bully that has never been swimming in the past can fear water and struggle to swim efficiently. Just like most other breeds out there, it all comes down to personal preference. Barking. Bull Terriers do not bark unless there is a good reason. They are not known to bark a lot and are not known to be heavy barkers. It does depend on the individual dog and some are known to be more vocal than others. Bullies may resort to barking include separation anxiety, loneliness, boredom, attention seeking and out of alarm and fear. Proper training, discipline, and positive reinforcement can help and excessive barking. When the bully does bite, however, it can deliver a bite force of 269 psi. Weather and climate. Bullies have a very poor tolerance to cold climatic conditions. Bull terriers can get cold quite easily because of their short coat and lean build. These pooches are not meant for extremely low temperature areas and they won't be able to live happily in most of the world's icy or snowy locations. While some bullies tolerate heat and humidity well, others can quickly become overheated. Reduce the risk of heat stroke by restricting outdoor playtime to the cooler morning or evening hours. If there's an excessive heat warning for your area, don't let your bullies spend hours outside in the hot sun. Friendliness. Bullies are good with children and excellent dogs with children if they are socialized and trained at a young age. If you have a bully and a young child, please keep all interactions closely supervised and do not allow any teasing or provoking behavior directed towards the dog. Older children, however, make excellent playmates for bull terriers. They need socialization with other dogs beginning at a young age to be comfortable and well behaved around other dogs. Bullies that don't receive socialization around other dogs may be territorial and display aggressive. Bullies can live with cats and get along with cats in the same household if they are socialized and around cats beginning at young ages. Initially, training and supervision may be required for a bully and cat to coexist in the same house. Bull Terrier is naturally protective of its family. It may be suspicious of strangers. However, as long as your Bull Terrier raised in a stable, calm, and loving environment, you shouldn't have to worry about unwarranted aggression towards strangers. Adaptability. 
Bully can do well in an apartment living situation as long as they receive enough outdoor exercise every day. Tiny, cramped, and cluttered apartments aren't the best environments for bull terriers. In general, bull terriers aren't recommended for first-time dog owners. They can be very stubborn, strong-willed, and fairly high exercise needs which should be fulfilled on a regular basis. Hence, this breed might not be very suitable for novice dog owners. Bullies are super active dog breeds and they like to do something with the presence of their human companion and supervision. Bully puppies need to be crated when left home alone and not left for more than four hours when possible. As your bully learns basic obedience and potty training, you can increase the duration of time that you leave your bully home alone. Guard, watchdog. Bullies have strong protective instincts and guarding qualities, making them excellent guard dogs and family protectors. They will also become aggressive if they feel anyone is threatening themselves or their family. Bull terriers are also protective of other family members, property, personal items and even toys. They can be considered territorial dogs due to this behavior and personality trait. Drooling. Bull terriers do not drool much compared to other dogs. However, drool production may be increased when the dog is panting or has just has a drink of water. They drool usually when they are about to eat or want something yummy from their family members. Health issues. These dogs are prone to bloat that's why it is recommended to have small frequent meals instead of one large meal. Due to their piebald coats, the bullies are more prone to deafness and hearing loss than many other non-piebald breeds. Have you had any experience with Bull Terrier? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.